There were three guys named Jackson who all owned a clothing store named Jackson's Clothing. When a new plaza opened up in the center of town, each one of them rented some space in that plaza, not realizing that the other two had rented the space basically right next door. In order to convince the customers to come to their store rather than the other Jackson's Clothing stores, they all put up signs to attract the customers. The one on the left put up a sign that says, Jackson's Clothing Store, Best Prices. The one on the right put up a sign that says, Jackson's Clothing Store, Best Quality. The one in the middle thought about it for a few days, and then he put up his own sign, Jackson's Clothing Store, Main Entrance. Welcome back to the Dad Bod. Best prices, best quality, those options are good and all, but if you can't find something that actually fits you properly, neither really matter, do they? That's why I'm here, and that's possibly why you're here too, to find out if, in this case, Paul Frederick's dress shirts are worth buying. We'll get into that in just a minute, but make sure when you're done with this video that you take the time to look at some of my other videos. They're also filled with great fashion and style related information to help you. And if you could, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. It lets me know that I'm putting out quality videos that interest you, and it lets you know when I put out those videos. All right, let's get back to it. It was recently suggested to me that I check out Paul Fredericks for a sale that they had going on. I've looked into him once before in a previous sale, but I didn't see any shirts that were in my size that were on sale. This time they had some, and they were 50% off, so I ordered two of them. I know my standard collar and sleeve size, and I've already explained it in a previous video how you can easily find the size that best fits you. If you need a refresher, I'll put the link above so that way you can check it out. I also know that I usually prefer the tailored fit, so like I said, I ordered two. So as you can see over here, the first one is a blue and burgundy, tailored fit, non-iron, Supima cotton stripe dress shirt with contrast and trim. That's a lot to say. For this one, I really did like the dark red contrast on it. In addition to the 50% off sale, they also had the option to add your initials and a monogram for free. So I did that for both of them. For me, the sizes that I went with were 18 and a half inch neck and a 38 inch sleeve. The second one is a blue and white, tailored fit, non-iron, cotton, window pane dress shirt with contrast trim. I have to admit it, I got this one because of a guy named Michael Weatherly, also known as Tony Donoso from NCIS. Yeah, this guy right here. If you've seen the show at all, you know that Tony basically always looks superb. Well, almost always. It's kind of hard to look good when you have the plague. But in the double digit seasons, he started wearing this white dress shirt with a blue window pane squares. Every time I saw it, I thought to myself how I love that shirt. And now I have it. Well, my own, not his. So but here it is, you know, on me. I chose to wear a tie with it because of the collar type. It's a button collar with contrast colors. It really looks better with a tie. It's kind of a bit awkward without it. Denozo's was a solid color. He didn't have the contrasting, but you know, I saw the option and I took it. As I said, this one also has the monogram. So after wearing the shirt all day, I absolutely love it. There's no buyer's remorse here, but I do have one question for you guys. Which one's your favorite of the two? Let me know in the comments section below. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.